before I go into a full intro, here's something I shot whilst out quadcoptering. Hello and welcome to the quite frankly gorgeous Stourbridge Common. Here it is. Here it is. To keep, I have to keep an eye on is there's a football ground just there. Brief quadcop. As I was trying to say, quadcoptering time. And now a proper intro. Hello and welcome to another video of quadcoptering in Cambridge. Change of camera for these uh, to camera bits because I recently got this little Canon camera. It's reasonably good at uh, HD video so I'm trying to use the video facility on it from time to time. I was going to shoot this video with tons of little links in between to camera explaining it all uh, but then I got home from quadcoptering and this had arrived. Uh, so I'm going to edit to that and I will just explain a bit right now and then do another link at the end and everything else I can do in voiceover and just pause the CD occasionally. So where have I been today? Um, I have been to a piece of land that I'd actually forgotten, uh, for those of you who followed this little adventure on Facebook, how gorgeous it is. Uh, it's a piece of um, common land uh, a UK term, I'm not sure how well that transfers outside the UK, hopefully you can look it up and find out, uh, but it's what's known as common land which basically means it's covered by a bunch of regulations and no one's allowed to build on it and due to where this is and what surrounds it such as the river and various bits of drainage it's to some extent a floodplain and so it wouldn't be practical to build on anyway. It is however much bigger than I remembered it to be. I had not been to this part of Cambridge not for a proper look round since uh, the late 1980s and it is uh, for the people who are into geography it is not far from Cambridge United football ground in fact in some of the videos you will see Cambridge United football ground I'm not a football fan uh, but I did watch uh, us not being defeated by Cambridge by uh, Manchester United so yes uh, that gives you roughly the it's in it's on one side of it is Cambridge United football ground once you get to the other side of it there's a main road and you're a short distance for the uh, Centre for Computing History which is a lovely new relatively new museum that opened in Cambridge over the past about five years and only about two years ago did it actually move to Cambridge itself so yeah, I started off, I'll give you a quick run, run through and then we'll go into the footage. I started off on uh, this piece of land near Cambridge United Football Ground. So you'll see some cows, as this being a common, uh, farmers are allowed to let their cows loose on it to eat the grass for nothing. Uh, then there's a sort of mid-section, um, which back in the late 80s was used partly by Cambridge United as a sort of training ground and that bit's not perfect for quadcopter flying then there's the final section of this piece of land when you've got uh, beyond the railway which is amazing and I'd forgotten how ridiculously useful it is for quadcopter flying because it's a huge piece of what can only be called meadow land and there's very few trees, trees only border it, a main road borders it, but it is quite large and it is essentially asking to be used for quadcopter flying. Unfortunately, was not able to get it up for any length of time today, unfortunately, the quadcopter that is, uh, because we've had gusts of about 24 mile an hour of wind. Uh, Thankfully, when I did get to this far side where it's this lovely meadowland, uh, the, the wind had seemed to settle down for a bit. So th about the last thing I shot uh, is a, a good minute long. So hopefully uh, that will be um, very good. And um, if I get a day over the next month or two where it's weather this bright, but with much less wind, I'm definitely uh, going to go out there and uh, shoot some more. Now this is the initial video I shot just after I'd parked my bike which you can see on the right of the screen. 
Uh, these cows are, as I say, it's common land, and they allow the farmers to graze cows there. They were very interested in this um, object floating over their heads, even though I did only send it up initially about um, a few metres. Now this bit of video, this is about as high as I got the quadcopter while I was near the stadium, and it scared the bejesus out of me. So I got it about 60 feet in the air. As you can see, it swung around all over the place. Eventually settled down. You can see a bit of the river. And you can see the cows have now headed away. And coming up next is my reaction. Well, that was scary. <laughs> you get a quadcopter 60 feet in the air above you in a 24 mile an hour wind. Say goodbye to this end of the common. I'm going to briefly fly it at the other end. Watch this space. Now, I did shoot a little bit in this centre bit of the common, but I rapidly discovered uh, that the wind was not particularly to my favour, so this is just a few short seconds of me trying to take it up and, to a degree, failing, because it was hitting bits of grass that it didn't like, and it, you had to find somewhere as flat as possible. And it... Isn't, although there's a path, it's in use. So yeah, it's a bit up and downy this video, but we'll get on to something better any second now. This is about as near as I got to shooting a successful bit of footage uh, in the mid section of this common. Uh, you can see Cambridge United football ground there behind the trees, and then, oh yes, the wind decides to grab it and swings it round and round. Wheel, 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 wheel. And then in the distance there, I think you can just see the top of a building that's uh, uh, a swimming pool. And you do get some nice shots of the clouds, if nothing else. And it sort of hung at this height for a bit. And then it was, yeah, that's it. It was very slow to land. I remember running towards it shouting, land, damn you, land. Now, this was, in fact, the most successful flight of the day. And... This footage is supposedly clearer, because it is shot straight into the memory stick. Uh, we're in the, the lovely meadow, meadowy end of uh, Coldham's Common here. Amazing skies we had today as I shot this. It is lined by trees, almost entirely round, certainly on about three sides of it. And so it took getting the thing up to quite some height before you start seeing beyond those trees. But just emerging now, on the left of the picture, in the distance, you'll see a building. Uh, now that is Marshall's Airport in Cambridge. We don't have a massive airport because we're not a massive town. There's only 100,000 of us. Uh, but it does do the odd one or two flights into Europe. So it is officially Marshall's International Airport. Uh, when I was looking at this whilst I was flying it on the iPad, I kept thinking... Pity the camera's, camera's not angled better than this. Uh, so then I hit the uh, land button and uh, it slowly, slowly, slowly came down. And there's me. Hello, me. And here we are. Slightly scary journey home, uh, but worth filming part of it. And uh, as soon as I did get home, I shot this. Uh, why the sunglasses all of a sudden? Uh, well, I suffer from, suffer from, uh, a squint, and I just watched that video back, and I realised this eye looks very odd. So, apologies for the sunglasses, but I do suffer from a squint at this time of year, unfortunately. I may get the doctors to look at it eventually, uh, and hopefully it will be uh, fixable. But, um, another point you may be thinking while you're watching all this is, why this camera? Because the audio quality on it is not as good as if I use my proper camcorder. Well, uh, I, as you may have seen from the other videos, I have had a uh, file conflict clash between uh, the files generated by the quadcopter and those generated by the camera to do the links. So you end up with these horrible in a box type videos as generated by the editing software. And so I experimentally last night shot a bit on this, shot a bit on the 
quadcopter, tried to join them together within the editing software, and everything was full screen. So I thought, well, it's worth suffering a bit of reduced sound quality if it means the links come out properly. Uh, but yeah, as I said, fingers crossed for uh, less um, wind, less blustery weather uh, uh, throughout June and uh, July. Um, and I will get the quadcopter much higher and we will get a much, much better view from there because uh, particularly the the Cambridge United end, sort of the Cambridge United end of that piece of land you can point the thing towards quite an urban part of Cambridge at the other end of the piece of land as you saw in the videos you can uh, start to look towards um, Marshall's Airfield which is uh, Cambridge's very own airport. Not a very busy place, but uh, does uh, does do the odd flight to Europe. So, goodbye!